Why does that look green? Does that look green to you? Alright. Um. Hello, people of YouTube. Alright, so like, I had a whole other vlog planned out and everything. And I recorded it. But like, for some reason, like halfway through... Or, like, maybe, like, three-fourths of the way through the vlog, it decided to, like, stop recording. And it wasn't because my space on my phone was too, like, low or whatever. It just stopped, and it wouldn't even record anything. I had to, like, reset my phone and whatnot. And it was an antagonizing experience. experience. And, uh, yeah. So, um, I'm currently... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm currently... I, I'm kind of, in a sense, I didn't want to, okay, <laughs> I'm forcing myself to vlog right now, mainly because I feel like if I don't vlog this and tell you what's going on, I'm never going to, and uh, I know in my last vlog, it didn't really seem like I was doing the best, and, uh, uh and quite frankly, I'm not, and I want, I, it's gotten worse. Um, so to give you a basic gist, I'm going to give you a little bit of a deep dive into my personal ideal life thing. Um, but uh, I, uh, all right, so I didn't have the best childhood. I'm not going to go into exactly what happened in my childhood, but my mother sucks. Like, she actually sucks. She's terrible. Okay? And, uh... She, um... She... As of, like, a few weeks ago, made a Facebook, and she recently tried looking for me. She's done this, like, four other times. I've managed to escape her and, like, block her. I'm not one to block people, because what the fuck, but, like... I just, if she wants to find me, she's the only person I actually want to beat up. <laughs> like, I hate saying that the way that I do, but, like, I want to, like, just punch her one time. One solid time, right in the mouth. And it's so shitty. And on top of that, I'm having, a, I, I mentioned this in my last vlog too, I'm having an extremely hard time, like, managing myself and, like, accepting things that have happened in the past. Like, I'm having a hard time, like, understanding and managing myself. And I know I can't change anything that's already happened and whatnot, but I wish... I wish I could. I said the day at work, me and uh, this my co-worker friend, we talk a lot at work and we're planning on hanging out sometime after work. And he was like, he, I, I was talking about like philosophies and like different ideas of like string theory, M theory, the infinite universe theory and everything. And like, I don't know exactly how it got to it, but he asked me what, what I would do if I could just like uh, go to any point in time and I would be like, to start completely over. To like wake up tomorrow as an infant. And just start over. And he was like well that seems counterintuitive. And I kind of changed my answer. I was like well to wake up as a baby tomorrow. With all the knowledge of everything that's already going to happen to this point. I wish I could do that. I went through an extremely abusive relationship just last... I got out of it just last year in January. It 
and that like ruined me. And like I look back on it, and though I, I don't miss it, I don't miss it at all. I'm glad that I'm away from it. It's just abusive relationships like fuck people, you know. With anyone, or like an abusive friendship, an abusive parent, or an abusive whoever the fuck else. And it just... I wish none of it happened. I wish I could just like... There hasn't been... There's been a countless number of times where I feel like I could just start over. I really, even if, I care about all the friends I've made, and I understand that, like, all of my hardships and everything have made me into the person that I am now, but, like, everything is so hard. And if I just... I just want it to stop being so hard to live. I've been trying so hard to be self-sufficient and be on my own and do the things that I want to do and help myself but every time I get to a certain point where I'm comfortable something fucks me and then like it just puts me mentally back into square one and now I'm like in panic mode essentially because I have no idea what the fuck to do over the next like eight days I'd be out of this house I'm in now by May 1st. May 1st. And I just, I fucking... Uh. I'm sorry I'm, I'm cursing so much. I don't, I typically try to like my best to speak in a, like a... In a semi moderately professional fashion in these vlogs, to but I'm just Everything is just hard. And. I'll, I, everyone's always like. Oh you're young. You'll get through it. And you'll look back on it and laugh. And fuck. But. F when does. When does getting older start? I'm going to be 21 this year. The past six years of my life. Have been absolute hell. Everything, I can't even, besides maybe some small accomplishments I've made and some like pretty okay strides, I would say, I've had no real like good moments. The best moments I can think, I can like think of are the ones when I was in a band. And the only and like the only time I was it was when I was practicing and when I was playing shows. Those are the only good moments that I can like say for sure were like the best moments. At the time I was in the I was in a band. I was dating my first like legitimate girlfriend ever. And I chose the band over her ultimately. I spent I tried my best to spend more time working on my band than I was satisfying our relationship that wasn't the end of it like that, that that wasn't why the relationship ended but that those times were the best and that was the last time i was like legitimately happy for a, like a consecutive amount of time you know I 
I'm sure if you dig deep hard enough on YouTube, you can find those videos. Have fun with that if any of my subscribers see this and try. But uh, on a different note, you've seen me upload videos of the concerts I've been going to recently. Uh, those have been really good. I've needed those for a very long I haven't been to a concert since, since July of 2015. Yeah, because July, August, September. Yep, I haven't been to a concert since July of 2015. That kills me. And I've gone to two concerts over the past week, and that... And seeing Periphery and the Contortionist. I made a vlog about that a while ago. They're my two favorite bands on the planet ever. The only one that's really... My favorite band is Linkin Park, but I have, I have no chance of ever seeing them live. Cause fuck their ticket prices. Um, yeah, I have needed that, and I kind of saved that for the last moment because I kind of I didn't I knew I didn't want to end this on like a negative note. I wanted to kind of end more of a positive way. And uh, if you're watched to this. If you if you if you've watched to this point, thank you. I appreciate it. I know a lot of my subscribers really only subscribe to me mainly because, oh sub for sub. Oh yeah, the I mean, I don't know. I'm glad that if whoever watched it to this far, I'm glad you did. <laughs> I know that sounds cheesy, but. I'm glad, and I appreciate it. Um, thank you for listening to me. I'm sure things will eventually, uh, all the hard shit will eventually subside, hopefully. That's me being optimistic now. That's why I wanted to end it on a good note. Alright. Um, if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. Regardless of what you thought, leave your feedback in the comments down below. And I will see you in my next vlog video thing guy. That. Alright. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.